Hello everybody, Chris Rice Killer Tia here and we're with um Takaki. Um did I pronounce that correctly? Uh that's on Okay. Good. Yeah, and uh, and we're here with his translator, um Jason. Jason. And we are here to talk about um Sinra Kogra Be Peach Beach Splash. And I gotta say, it's an interesting take to move the series from a um dancing or like brawler to a um what a gone base shooter here. So what came how do you came up with the idea for that? I was I mean I was impressed with the P the PS4's specs are really good great. So in order to enhance that uh, I try to you know showcase more Sendan Kagura. And since it's the fifth anniversary of Sendan Kagura, um, I want to uh, the foreign market was getting more and more popular with the, the franchise. So in order to appeal to the market, um, I created you know this TPS which is more you know popular amongst those uh, amongst those group of people. Okay, and obviously we got all of these fine ladies here from the main series making an appearance in this game. Um, are there any new characters that will make an appearance here as well? So, on top of the characters, we also added uh, characters from the mobile game, uh, New Wave. Um, and on top of that, we have other collaborations with other you know, franchises. So, we have characters from like Dead or Alive and other sorts. I got a chance to play this game um, earlier today and I noticed that there, there was even like a water power jetpack as well as water guns as well. Um, what kind of other mechanics should we expect in the game? So on top of that we have various you know, water guns uh, like, and on top of that we also added like you know card system which is uh, they all have you know various illustrations on it. You can customize them, attach to your character to customize it, to make it to your own personal liking. And on top of collecting them, you can use it to, you know, power up your skills from those cards uh, and, you know, have your own unique character. Yeah, and of course, Sunro Kagura is pretty famous for his library use of fan service, and of course, one of the gameplay mechanics plays it at where you water gun the, um, opponent's baiting suits off for the intense finisher. Um, how did that came about? あの、今回やっぱりあの、水鉄砲を撃って戦うって言って、その水を当てて痛いっていうような感じではなくて、あの、水を使う。Since so, we're shooting with water guns, I wasn't trying to show that it hurts to get shot with a water gun. I was trying, we're most likely just splashing them with water. So, you know, we were thinking that, hey, we're just splashing water on cute girls. So, and that's how it came about. Well, and I know this on the PlayStation 4 currently, there's also the um, upcoming PlayStation, I mean, the already released PlayStation 4 Pro. Are there going to be um, any enhancements to the graphics or to the frame rate on the um, high-end PS4? PlayStation Pro, the high resolution is very high. So with the PlayStation 4, we'll get you know a higher resolution, as well as the frame rate will be like you know fluctuating from 30 to 60. But with the PlayStation 4 Pro, you'll get a stable 60. Okay, and um, some of the previous some of Kogra games have also made their appearances on Steam as well. Could um Beach Peach Beach Blast make appearances there as well, since um shooters tend to be very popular on the PC platform. So, yes, we understand that PC is fairly popular, so we want to, you know, eventually put it up on a PC as well. Okay, and um, when can we expect the game to be released in North American territory? Uh, the PC version or the... Uh, the, the PS4 version. PS4 version is America when it's released in summer. 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 Summertime, so yeah, definitely keep an eye on this game because I did enjoy it. Even the fan service was a little bit tasteful this time around, and um, keep it right here for more E3 coverage.